look, I can't stand it when people tell me what I stand for. I can't stand it when people tell me who I am, how I am, and why it's all wrong. Bitch, you don't know me. Sometimes I don't know myself. But I do know one thing. I don't fully buy into any left-leaning ideology. I don't. I really don't care what you call me. A Democrat, a liberal, a leftist, whatever. That's why I hate labels. Because you can't pigeonhole me into any certain one. I'm a rare breed, homie. There are certain things where I'm more moderate and others where I'm more extreme. There's times when I think our system is flawed but fixable. But I'm also not against blowing the whole thing up. Figuratively, of course. But I'm open to options. I know I don't know everything. I'm smart enough to realize this. I know that sometimes it's better to fix something and sometimes it's better to replace it. At the end of the day, the only thing I support is making sure that all people's lives are better. All people's lives. Not some people and definitely not at the expense of others. What can we do that would allow this country that we all love to live up to its promise and potential? Make America great again? How about we make it great for the first time? Because I'm pretty sure the ones who say make it great again are just reminiscing of times when bigotry was accepted as normal. No more. I support equality over exclusion. Inclusion over isolation. Shout out to Hakeem Jeffries for that. I want freedom for all, not freedom for the few. I want marginalized voices to be on the same level as everyone else. I want no child to go to bed hungry. No law-abiding person be scared to live their life the way they see fit. Nobody should have to choose between food and health care. And the most important thing is, I don't want people to be hypocrites. I don't want anyone confusing their hypocrisy with patriotism because that's a major problem in today's world so you can call me whatever you want dim lib it don't matter only thing that matters is this right here so listen closely i will never ever be part of a political group that feeds off of hatred and, and hypocrisy i will never support bigotry ignorance exclusion christian nationalism or overall backwards assness i will never support a party who sees equality for all as oppression a party whose only position is attack Never solve, just attack. Show me a Republican plan to fix anything. I hear about all these things they're going to do. They will do. They plan on doing. But nothing involves actually helping people. It's all smoke and mirrors and attacking the left. That's the only thing they're worried about. They, they point out problems and attack them with no solution. No solution whatsoever to the problem. N now... Now, I do that too. Don't get me wrong. I can point out a problem and not know how to fix it. I can tell when something is wrong with my truck, but I can't fix it. I'm not a mechanic. But these people are supposed to be the mechanics. That's what they were elected to do. But instead of fixing your transmission, they just bitch about the transmission. Like where it came from, how it was made, why it's so bad. Imagine taking your car to a mechanic because your transmission is acting up. And a few days later, they call you say, hey, did you figure out the problem? And they say, yeah, you ask, okay, how, how are you going to fix it? How long will it take? What's the cost? And they just answer back, it's a shit transmission. The woke commies are the ones who put it together and it's not sustainable. we got to undo everything the socialists did to it. We've got to undo it. It's ridiculous. And you're like, oh, okay, but how, how are you going to fix it? And then they just hang up. I will never understand or support a party that has no gray area, that either you're with us or against us, friend or enemy, where everything you want to hear is facts over feelings and everything you don't want to hear is fake news. A party that claims to be pro-life but school children being massacred the last week of school is just the price of freedom because that's what the founding fathers wanted. That's what the founding fathers intended. That wants zero regulations on the number one killer of kids but when a person of color is a legal firearm firearm owner and gets killed by the cops they find a way to justify the cop they want to carry an ar-15 to goddamn piggly wiggly or or the mall but amir Locke, who had not broken any laws was was definitely going for his legal firearm when the cops burst through the door waking him up from a deep sleep on a bullshit no knock warrant 
Never will I support a party that claims to be pro-life, but votes against the child tax credit. Votes against school lunches. Votes against expanding Medicaid to help low-income families. Do what? Fucking stay alive. Not once will I ever vote for a party that caused my daughter to have less the rights, have less rights than her mother at the same age, who decided she was nothing more than breeding stock. The party of freedom has no problem literally taking freedom away from you if you have a uterus. Because in their twisted minds, they have a perverted view of pro-life and think that they're some hero protecting a fetus that they'll just demonize once it's born if it doesn't fit into their economic plan or their neat little Christian nationalist box. The pro-life party who refuses to do a single fucking thing during a global pandemic that's killed millions Refuse to do a single fucking thing that might help curtail COVID deaths. Who decided they know more than experts? Who People who have dedicated their life to studying this one thing. And then when that, that expertise is needed, they're told by the pro-life party that they don't know what they're talking about. Pro-life idiots who will look at a woman who has a fetus inside of her that won't survive an hour after birth. The birth will be excruciating for the fetus before it passes and excruciating for the mother knowing what the fetus is going through, they will look at her and without a fucking hint of irony say, oh, well, you're going to have to carry that thing to term. I mean, you can go to a blue state where killing your baby is legal. But not here. And only if you can afford it. Because if you're low income and someone gives you money to travel to get health care you need and deserve and get health care you need and deserve, then that's a conspiracy and a felony. Maybe you should have kept your legs closed. Oh, you were raped? Oh, it's incestual rape? Oh, it's a 10-year-old child, an 11, 12, 13-year-old who's now pregnant because she had to go through the most traumatic event that nobody should have to endure? Oh, well, it's just a blessing from God. The party of small government, keep the government out of my life, has no problem when the government inserts itself into everybody's uterus like a fascist bot fly. I will never support a party who says that Social Security is, an, is just an entitlement, who says the left is nothing but elites and lazy bastards all at once, who says that they are the party of the common man, yet attack the common man for wanting a fraction of their student loans forgiven, but not saying a damn word about PP loan forgiveness, PPP loan forgiveness, or insane tax breaks given to corporations, who believe in trickle-down economics but doesn't believe in raising the minimum wage. Believes in trickle-down economics even with the data that is irrefutable. Facts over feelings. The CEO pay has increased 1,500% the last 50 years, while workers' pay has only risen 20%. In less than 50 years, the CEO worker pay ratio has went from 30 to 1 to 400 to 1. But yeah, the Republicans are for the common working man. Donald Trump is for the working man. What? What the fuck? He isn't a factory worker. He's a factory owner who has shown over and over in his art of the deal history that he has no problem fucking over his workers. The multiple bankruptcies, leaving people he owed money to hanging and destitute is facts over feelings, not fake news. Not twisting a fit of narrative. Nothing but the sad truth. I will never support a party that bitches about government handouts but then wants vouchers from the government because they don't want to pay for private school. I will never, ever hand on the Bible, cross my heart, and hope to die, vote for a party that has vilified the trans community the way they have been vilified the past few years, the way that inclusivity has been twisted into something sinister, that somehow a drag performer reading a book or just existing is grooming? You're sickened by a man in a dress and makeup being secure in themselves and wanting that for everyone, but silence over the constant barrage, daily, weekly, monthly, all the time reports of preachers or teachers diddling kids you believe that teaching children to accept people and to be kind equals sexual deviancy how the fuck how the fuck did we get here what fucking path did you take to your destination because you got turned all the way fucking around you support laws being written where drag performers that treat drag performers like sex offenders making it illegal for someone to wear clothes of the opposite sex in public where a child might See? What about Shakespeare? Hairspray? Fucking Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire is the OG drag queen story time. 
That's literally the end of the movie. What about that 90s movie, Ladybugs? Not Lindsey Graham's Ladybugs, but Rodney Dangerfield's Ladybugs. What about Powder Puff football games in high school? Or the reverse beauty pageants in high school? Who decides what is acceptable? Is that a shirt or a blouse? Is that a skirt or a kilt? Why are you punishing a community that is doing nothing but existing when all the problems you say the community is causing is actually being caused by your community? If we allow trans in bathrooms, then a man will wear a wig to molest girls. That's not a trans issue. That's a straight man issue. I bet money that that straight man is a good Christian too. That makes sense because everything you say the trans community is guilty of is actually a reflection of you. So look in a motherfucking mirror. Look, all I'm saying is if you're a member of or vote for or support a party that stands on a hill proclaiming you're the party of freedom like a Ricola, like a Ricola commercial, yet your entire platform is the exact opposite of freedom, then you can call me whatever you want. Democrat, liberal, leftist, progressive, socialist, communist, Antifa, snowflake, sheep. I don't give a fuck. Least I know I'm not a hypocrite.